Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our second example on using the Hamiltonian in economics. In this video, we're going to talk about using uh, a planner's problem for a endowment economy. Let's go. So suppose we have the following planner's problem in a continuous time endowment economy, which is the following. We're maximizing uh, our consumer's lifetime utility with respect to uh, WT, which is going to be, I guess, you know, you can call that a cake of some sort or just the endowment amount and uh, CT which is a consumption process and that's going to be subject to our law of motion here which is just going to be WT minus CT uh, simple enough our initial amount of WT is going to be greater than zero and our utility function or our instantaneous utility function is going to be like this one over here our task here is that we're going to try to derive the Euler equation for this problem so for solving this problem again uh, it's going to be a four-step process like before. Step number one is that we're going to note our modified Lagrangian. Step number two is we're going to take our first order conditions of it. Step number three is that we're going to take the logs and derivative with respect to time of the condition that is not a differential equation. And that means it does not contain this little dot term over here. And step number four is that we're going to use this result to solve for our Euler equation. So this is... Uh, very similar, if not you know, the exact same for what I've written down in our previous video. Uh, we're gonna be using this modified Lagrangian where it looks like a Lagrangian, but we're going to have this plus and minus term at the end over here, uh, changing where the dot is, whether it be on our multiplier or on our uh, W, which is our law of motion here, where this H here, that's gonna be referred to as the Hamiltonian. So Again, some people just go from the Hamiltonian directly and they just note a uh, condition from our first order conditions and the Pontagrin's maximum principle. But here I want to be more explicit. So step number two, we're going to take our first order conditions like so. Um, it looks like we could just go and work at it directly, but we still don't know what this lambda dot is. So after rearranging, we're going to take the logs and derivative with respect to time of the condition that does not have a differential equation in this. This is equation number one. So taking our natural logs of both sides and then taking the derivative with respect to time, we get this result over here, which where negative lambda dot t is equal to lambda t times rho plus theta times c dot t all over c. Step number four is using this result for our Euler equation, we're going to sub 3 into 2, and we're going to have that is lambda t is equal to minus lambda dot t, and plugging that in and rearranging, we go and get our Euler equation, which is c dot t all over c t is equal to 1 over theta times 1 minus rho. So this is our Euler equation. Um, so that's our second example in our series on using the Hamiltonian in economics. I hope this video helps you. Take care.